The topic of this video is vibrating circular membrane, which is an application of multidimensional Strom-Liouville theorem. We will model the unforced and forced circular membrane by two-dimensional wave equation and show animations of the eigenfunctions and solutions. The vertical displacement U of an unforced circular membrane satisfies the following PDE. We assume it has zero displacement at the circular boundary and the initial position and velocity are given. Our question is, how will the membrane change in time? By separation of variables, we obtain the following three ODEs. They are eigenvalue problems. There are four families of product solutions, shown here, where GM is the basal function of the first kind of order M, and the eigenvalue lambda MN is the square of the nth root of GM divided by A, the radius of the membrane. They are called modes or fundamental modes. Here is a plot of the first a few basal J functions. A few facts worth mentioning here. The zeros of GM are approximately pi apart. The eigenfunctions gm square root of lambda mnr are orthogonal and complete, which means any piecewise smooth function of r can be represented by a generalized Fourier series of the eigenfunctions. We now present a few animations of modes. We picked one type of the four families the gm cosine cosine, the other types of modes have similar shapes. The mode indexed by m and n has 2m nodal radii and n minus 1 nodal circles, excluding the boundary circle. We next show an example sets the initial displacement to be a mixture of eigenfunctions u041 and u511 and sets the initial velocity to be zero. To solve for the solution u, we use initial displacement alpha to compute the coefficients a lambda by the formula in the bottom. An animation of the solution is shown on the bottom right. We now consider the case of a forced circular membrane. We are adding a term Q of external force. By separation of variables, we write U as the sum of AIT times phi lambda I. By variation of parameters, we can solve AIT. The external force Q introduces the integral term in color red. The QIT here is the time-dependent coefficients of Q represented by spatial eigenfunctions phi lambda i. AIT represents the amplitude of the mode phi lambda i. We next show the animations of solutions of three examples. We are using the same initial conditions as before and we are interested in the following three types of forces. The increasing force, periodic force, and resonant force. Recall that the G0 square root of lambda 0 1 times R is the 0 1th mode and it looks like a ball upside down. In the example of increasing force, the amplitude of the 0 1 mode grows in time without a bound. The other oscillating modes are bounded and periodic. Thus, the 0 1 mode will dominate the shape of the solution after a while. 
in the example of periodic force, the forcing frequency here is 1, and AIT is bounded and periodic. So each mode is composed of a vibration of its natural frequency c square root of lambda i and a vibration at the forcing frequency lambda equals 1. In the last example, a phenomenon called resonance occurs because the forcing frequency equals one of the natural frequencies. For those modes that forcing frequency equals natural frequency, their amplitudes are no longer periodic. Instead, they grow proportional to T. The other modes remain bounded. Thus, the resonating modes will dominate the shape of a solution after a while. Here is a comparison of the three examples. As you can see, in the case of the periodic force, the membrane is bounded and periodic. In the case of increasing force and resonant force, the shape is dominated by the zero-ones mode after a while.